Famous for her refusal to move to the back of a segregated bus, Rosa Parks became a symbol of American civil rights. Rosa Parks, this is the mother of the movement. Born in Tuskegee, Alabama on February 4th, 1913, Rosa Parks became a member of the NAACP in 1943. Parks actively worked for voter registration and desegregation. But on December 1st, 1955, in Montgomery, Alabama, Parks sparked a national movement. As an African-American woman, she was relegated to the back of the bus. But the bus became crowded with uh, white customers, and the bus driver demands that she moves even further back. And she and three other people were being asked to do this. And then he said, I'm going to call the police, basically. And the other three got up and moved back, and she refused, and the rest is history. When Rosa Parks was asked whether she was tired that day, she said, I was not tired, and I was not old. I was only 42 years old. But what I was tired of was giving in. Parks was arrested for violating city ordinances. After bailing her out of jail, NAACP President Edgar Nixon seized the opportunity and rallied an estimated 40,000 black commuters for a citywide bus boycott. People are watching what's happening in Montgomery. And 382 days later, on December 20th, 1956, Montgomery's buses are desegregated by the order of the Supreme Court. So part of it is the unity and the spirit that people maintained over more than a year of staying off the buses. Part of it is the galvanizing leadership of a very young Martin Luther King. So all of those kind of thrust the boycott before the country in a way that then provides an example of what is possible. After the bus boycott, Parks and her husband both lost their jobs and were forced to move to Detroit, Michigan, where Parks worked as a seamstress, secretary, and board member for Planned Parenthood. In 1996, Parks earned the Presidential Medal of Freedom. In 1999, Time Magazine chose Rosa Parks as one of the 20 most influential people in the 20th century. And their comment was, by her simple act of protest, she galvanized a civil rights revolution. On October 24, 2005, Rosa Parks died of natural causes at the age of 92. She became the first woman and second African American to lie in state at the Capitol Rotunda in Washington, D.C. In 2013, President Obama unveiled a statue in the Capitol building commemorating Parks' significance in history. Rosa Parks was a badass. Rosa knew that this lady with these little glasses could represent something really extraordinary that the average person, the one that you may not expect, could be the hero.